I have something important to tell you, son. What? You're going to die someday. You mean cease to exist? I better make the most of my life than help people leave this world a better place than it was when I entered it. What? No, no. You'll live on um, forever. You just won't be here. And you can look in on anyone else whenever you want. Didn't they throw old Mr. Thompson in jail for looking in on people without their permission? Uh, whatever. So, I'll live on, I just won't be here? Yes. So death is like an eviction, only where you go, you'll live forever? Yes. Then why don't more people commit suicide? Well, now that's a sin. Why? Are you questioning our Lord and Savior? You know, he just might unsave you for that. No, no, okay, um, where will I go when I die? If you do good according to what we say is good, you go to heaven, which is a good place. If not, you go to hell. That's a bad place. Isn't that how we taught Bowser not to pee on the rug? You know, Jesus died for all of our sins, and if you aren't grateful for something that you never asked for and that happened 2,000 years before you were even conceived, okay, okay, what do I do in heaven? Whatever you like, all the time. Oh, like Josh? No, 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 not like Josh. He just does whatever he wants. Uh, I mean, you know, he's not in heaven yet, and you can't do whatever you want before you're in heaven. If you do, you go to hell, and that's a really bad place, and mean little creatures poke at you with sharp instruments. What? Never mind. What if I eat pie all the time in heaven? Will I gain weight? No, no, there's no obesity in heaven. There's nothing bad in heaven. So everyone is ripped up there? Yes. Well, what's the point of that? Pardon? What's the point in looking muscular or attractive if everyone is like that? Then there won't be any basis for comparison. Surely we'll sooner or later forget what it's like on Earth. And we're not going to get sick, so what's the point in staying healthy? Also, in the Muslim idea of heaven, What's the point of the 72 virgins? Won't they still have to be good Muslims up there and, you know, marry and raise a family? Uh, will we still have to live without sin in heaven? Anyway, if we do whatever we want all the time, we're gonna get bored with it. Like that week I lived off hot dogs and soda. Well, and why would we want to exist forever? Eternal life doesn't mean eternal enjoyable life. Will we age up there? I mean, Long before we pass 150, our bodies are going to be completely useless. Oh, uh, in heaven we stay the same age as when we die. You mean people who die of old age remain that age up there? I mean, they may be deaf, blind... Yes, well, uh... What about those who die in infancy? Will they never be any older than that? Maybe you g get to grow up and then you stay a certain age? I don't know. Or we get tired of staying the same age all the time? Besides, if we live forever, what are we going to do up there? Things get boring. I mean, the one thing giving life a purpose is the fact that it ends. What's the point of a vacation if it isn't in between two portions of work? Does heaven update? I mean, is it still just a large garden with fruit aplenty or, you know, are there chocolate bars, spaghetti, video games? Honestly, Promising that death isn't the end just seems like a way to keep people from doing what you don't want them to do, and pure common sense is going to prevent most antisocial and destructive behavior, with the occasional exception that the law is then in place to both dissuade and, if the event arises, punish. So, son, you're going to die someday. What makes you so sure that death isn't the end? Well, I can't really imagine not existing, so I don't believe in it.